This is Tina with Pretty Presets and today I'd like to give you just a quick tutorial on how to do a quick and easy video with the slideshow module. What I've done is I've selected a group of photos that I have put into a collection called Caitlin and Ryan and this is from an engagement shoot. And if you'll notice the very first picture automatically pops into the screen. If you go over to the right and scroll up you can choose zoom to fit the full frame or not. If you'd like to add a border around here, see where it's a little tiny white line, you can also change the color and make it gray, make it black, or leave it white. And then you can, again, change the width and make it wide if you'd like it wide or not. I think I'm going to leave the border off. You can also do a shadow or not. I've decided I would like to leave a shadow. You can also change the opacity and the radius and the angle and all of these things right here. It's very quick and easy. Just adjust your sliders, make the shadow look the way you want it. Uh, you can also select watermarking. So if you'd like all your watermarks to show up on your, wherever you have it in your image, it's right here. I took these in 2015, so I'm just going to change that. And then what else do I like to do? Sometimes I like to do a background image. So right here you can kind of see a preview of what your background image is going to look like. This was a still life that I took of his ring from the Naval Academy and her engagement ring. So I think this kind of adds a nice little touch and then all the images are going to float right on top of this as you go along. So it's going to look pretty cool when it's all done. Start back at the beginning. If you'd like to do an intro screen, you can do an intro screen and put your identity plate on it. You can change the scale by just sliding it. Let's go up. I think 30% looks fine. You can do the same thing with an ending screen. Again, you can slide that, make it as big or as not. The next part is you just go down and select if you want to put it to music. If you do, you need to know where your music is. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to scroll over here to music and it's gonna go I've already got it on my playlist which is my editing music I'm gonna pull this down so we can see it I happen to know that this is one of the bride's favorite songs so I'm gonna choose that and then I'm gonna fit it to music just by clicking and it's gonna automatically adjust all of my slideshows all my slides the phase and how long that they show to kind of coincide with the music. This of course will change if your music is shorter or longer or if you add more slides. You can also choose random order which is something that I like to do and then you can repeat images if you want. I don't. I just kind of want to do it like this. If you want you can hit preview or you can hit play which I'm going to start it just for a second. It's going to prepare how it looks. It doesn't take too terribly long. Well, sometimes it takes longer depending on how many slides you have in here. But really, overall, it doesn't take that long to prepare it. So you can kind of look at a preview, and kind of decide if you like the way your slideshow looks, if you like the way the music is going to make you feel with the slides. For me, I like to use these when I reveal my, my images with a client or with a family or, or a friend um, just because it kind of puts that emotion of seeing all their images and how beautiful they are into and you get a real emotive quality whenever you set it to music. At least that's my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this just for the sake of the tutorial. And then when you're done, you just hit export video. You choose your destination where I have mine set to my desktop. You've got your video preset. You can set it any size. I like a high quality. And then you just name it whatever you want. And that's it. I'm not going to export right now um, because it does take a while to export, particularly if you've got it set to the highest settings. However, I'm going to minimize and show you how a different slideshow looks. I never thought that 
let you be the one to hold my heart. And there you have it. Quick and easy slideshows in Lightroom. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tina with Pretty Presets.